In this video I will show you how I buy DRM free ebooks and then later I can read them on any e-reader I want. So let's start by going to my web browser and here we have my web browser as you can see here. Unfortunately this web page are in Swedish but I will show you what I mean anyway. Uh, this page is bookus.com as you see there bookus.com and on this page you can buy ebooks you can buy english ebooks you can buy swedish ebooks and so on but mostly swedish ebooks because it's a swedish website here is one book i want to buy and you need to be logged in to your account so now when i have this book opened on bookus.com i can read about it what it's about and so on i can see which format is uh, it's available in and so on but here you see that it's an epub with a watermark so instead of drm here in sweden we have books with watermarks and the watermark is uh, attached to your account at bookus.com so you can see in the watermark that it's uh, bought here and by me so if i spread this book on social medias for example then they can see that it's from me so uh, i can be arrested and so and so on so that is what a watermark is it's attached to your account and where you bought it so if i now click download we come to this page where i should click allow and pay as you can see here so if i click on that it's waiting for authorization of my payment like so so now, as you can see, that I have bought this book and here it says it's in my digital library at bookus.com. So if I click here, I will find that book here, as you can see. It says bought today. So if I click on that, you can see that it's watermarked. And then I can download it like so. Now I have downloaded it. So now we can close the web browser and go into Calibre. So here we have Calibre. Uh, here we have some books in my test account. Now we will add that book that we recently bought at bookus.com by clicking add books. And in your downloads folder, you will find that book that you bought. Click on that and click open. Now I have that book in caliber as you can see. Uh, I want to add some uh, metadata and so on so i will just do a command d and download metadata like so now click yes now i got some metadata for this book i will add a tag that says that this is a swedish book like so <clears throat> now it's available in caliber but i want to do some uh, modifications before reading it on either my kindle or kobo so first we count the pages with the plugin called count pages and as you can see it has 414 pages uh, after that, I want to do a modify EPUB with uh, encode HTML in UTF-8 format. As you can see, uh, it's the only field that should be 
click down here so click OK as you see now I have the original EPUB here we have the new modified EPUB here so now that is uh, very good to read on a Kindle air reader for example I also want to convert this to Keypub, Keypub. so I can read it good on uh, a Kobo air reader too so the input format is EPUB and the output format will be Keypub click OK like so now you see that I have an EPUB, a key, KeyPub and an original EPUB so this book is now ready to transfer to my Kobo e reader or my Kindle e reader or both so I can just click here right click and here I will not show you because then you will see my secret email address in Kindle but I will send this via email from Caliber to my Kindle e reader by choosing connect share so now it is sent to my Kindle now I want to transfer this to my Kobo e reader too so let's go back to my desktop cam here here we have the Kindle and here we have the Kobo Kobo Claro 2e and the Kindle Basic in this example I will plug in this the cable is connected to my Mac uh, I think we need to do that again sorry like so sorry for that uh, click connect like so now we have connected the air reader to my Mac via caliber so let's go to caliber again here we now see the book I want to transfer that I recently bought and here we see my Kobo device so now when I have selected that book I can click send to device up here then I have to choose which format I want to have on my Kobo and I need to have Kepub it's the format is that you should use on your Kobo click OK so now it will be transferred to my Kobo air reader and now it has finished so now I can click disconnect eject this device and meanwhile we go back to my desktop and now I have disconnected it I can remove this cable sometimes you don't see that it's uh, disconnected somehow I don't know why but by removing it it should now soon uh, index this new book on the Kobo e reader after a while we have to wait a bit sorry for that Hmm. this was uh, a bit strange this shouldn't happen like so now it has indexed that book like so now it's available to read on my Kobo I click on that Here is the book and if I scroll like this 
We will soon see the watermark. It usually is in the beginning of the book. Let me browse for that. It was actually quite hard to find in this book. Sometimes it's in the beginning and sometimes in the middle of the book or sometimes at the end. And this time it was at the end. As you can see down here, here is the watermark. So that is how a watermark looks. It doesn't bother much actually. So now I can go back to the end of the book, the beginning of the book, I mean, because I haven't read this book yet. And on the Kindle, it looks like this. Let's go to the library uh, and we sync to have this book loaded. Now oh, I've synced. There we have it. I click on it. Like so. And now we have a cover for it. And now I can read it. As you see here. Once again, I can read it. And uh, we can show you the watermark on it on it too if you want we go to this page like so here we have the watermark again that shows that i have bought this book it's attached to my account at bookus.com so that is how easy it is to buy books here in Sweden, uh, completely DRM free. So that is what I like the most, by buying books that are DRM free, because then I can read them anywhere on any device I want. So. Uh, in a coming video, I will also show you how you can borrow books from a library here in Sweden uh, without an overdrive account. I guess that uh, this is the same method for many other countries and many other libraries too. Uh, but in that video, I will show my specific town's library and how to borrow ebooks there that you can read on your Kobo e-reader. So, okay, bye.